seven rounds, two mediums. Let's see which one comes out on top. Right, there's the damage from the RWS Hypermax. You see it deep in there. I'm going to peel back the layers of this clay so you can see what's going on. So first, let's pull back this guy, which is obviously undamaged. That bad boy is undamaged. This guy, let's see, undamaged. So, didn't make it past the green block but we can see from here they made it into the green block definitely made it past the white and the blue there it is went all the way to the back of the green block RD RWS hair max all the way to the base of the green block which each block is roughly a little over half an inch. Not bad. I'm gonna fish this motherfucker out, reset the blocks, and shoot the next run. Time for the next one. I didn't need to bring that little mutant block out because it broke right off. Didn't You can see it didn't go through. So it didn't go through that one. It did not go through that one. And it buried itself in that one. So, the Stoger XSP, which is a little further, that round nose made it a little further than that Hypermax. It made just a slightly wider hole, but no, the, the, ca the internal cavitation is not as big, but the initial entry hole, definitely slightly bigger. Here we go, once again peeling off the layers. Clean. Clean. A little more fuse this time. Whoop, there it is. Didn't have to go much further than that. These alloy pellets don't really deform much. But as the PBA gold right there. There it is. Okay, so PBA Gold, they're both round nose, made it just as far as a Stoger XSP. Just barely broke that clay right there. Cavitation. Roughly the same as the XSP. Alright, here we go. First layer. Second layer. I want one of these to get, at least hit this second layer right here. I want one of these to surprise me and actually get to there. Third layer. Still a little cumbersome. Huh, untouched. Let's check the back. I don't see any signs wait see something right there so I, saw, I saw a slight bulge right there 
Guess that was nothing. There it is. A bigger, definitely a much bigger entry hole. There. The damage is substantial. That pyramid had really dispersed that uh, energy right out off the bat. You can see it made it to the green. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. But it definitely made it into the green. So let's see how far into the green it made it. Here we go. I use my handy dandy knife. Cut into it. Hard to do this one handed, but you guys are worth it. And looks like it made it that far right there. Kind of filled it with a knife there, there, but that's as far as it made it right there. Just fell out of there. And let's take a look at look at this thing. Trying to get focus. There we go. Not much deformation. None, actually, I think this is like reshootable almost. Just gotta clean it up. But yeah, there you go. Add that to the stack right there. All right, here we go. Zero damage. Zero damage. Ah, I was really hoping the Agamo Air Star was the was the one that it made it. Oh, there's there's the Gamma Air Star. At least it made it past the green. Let's see if we can get the focus on here. You see the six blades of fury right there. Oh, the Wolverine of alloy pellets. It's a very unique design. It's kind of one of those funky. Nintendo screwdrivers. Huh. Embedded itself right there. About the same distance as the uh, PBA Gold and the RWS Hypermax. Damage is roughly. It's actually unique. Maybe it's those six blades. But you see, there's an, you can actually see the spiral right there of the six blades, the en energy dispersal, look at that. That is crazy, look at that spiral. That spin, as the blades go through and it disperses the energy in that fashion, it actually curved its way in there. It, it wasn't a straight line like all the other ones. It just curved slightly. Once it got past the blue, it just kind of, you know, went in till towards the left and shot out towards the right after it got past the blue. That is awesome. Here we go. Here's that crossing power shot gold. Let's see. No damage. No damage. Damn it, I was hoping the sable round would make the difference. Okay. Let's see if it's. You already know. On the steel test, it does better than the regular alloy pellets. But, what about. Uh, test. There it is. Even the sable made it that far. Normally the sable separates. For those of you who don't know, sable means it's just a fancy way of saying it has a polymer skirt. Or it's just encased in something that's supposed to separate from it. I like saying it because it sounds cool. Sable. There it is. That gold skirt is made out of plastic or polymer. And that's an alloy tip. So made it just as far as some of the other top-notch alloy pellets so far. Weird damage. It's like a tail whipped right there because it's pretty flat. The damage. Hmm. No crazy groove designs or anything like that. Just kind of flat. All right. Okay, here we go. Cosmic Power Shot Red did not get to the Franken block. Did not hit that. Uh, Rainy Champ, tell me you at least went further than the rest. 
Let's see, it's not bulging there. Let's see if I can take this apart. First, let's look in the inside here. Can we see in there well enough? Cavitation is strange. You have like small bulge at the beginning, and then you have a. I think you can see the skirt down there. You have a bigger bulge halfway in. I have to dissect this. I cut this bad boy open and uh, haven't touched it yet. Let's see, there. I think that's just a skirt. Yeah, it's just a skirt. I guess that big bulge came from the skirt opening up. Where is the? Where did it go? I'm gonna have to search for this, uh, for that alloy tip. Maybe it's just for. Oh, wait. There it is. It tumbled and made it to the base of the red. Right there. So it still went further than the rest. You see how long that seeds that. that, that, that alloy core is. It's almost the same size. Actually it is the same size as all the other alloy pellets. For those who were wondering why I gave it so much more credit during the wood test, see that? It is actually slightly longer, if not the same, as all the other pellets. And when I tested it, when I stuck that wire inside, I went inside the skirt there, which usually goes about halfway or more into the pellet. That doesn't have the skirt. That is just a solid. It's like a piece of nail cut off. So it definitely had twice, you know, twice the body length in there than the uh, regular alloy pellets. But it's still the rainy champ. It made it further than the rest. It actually went into the block. So this is the block right here. But just to give it a good demonstration, this is how the block looks. Undamaged. The other pellets made it yay far. The power shot penetrator after tumbling, I'm not even doing a straight path, after tumbling, made it yay far. Now, if you're thinking that's not that much of a difference, now think about what pellets are used for. Pellets are used for either plinking or hunting small game. Now, that small difference is either you hidden the vital organ you're, you're going for, or not, could injure that animal, and it's just you're just making it suffer, or you can just kill it in one shot. That's what the difference is. I'm here with my wife at uh, Walgreens, and I want to say thank you for supporting the channel. Subscribe and tell your friends. Keep that. Um... Sideways, go gang some. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>